So what's with all the theatrics, Horace? You weren't by any chance waiting for someone else, were you? Someone else? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Oh, all right. The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? I can only say no to these people so many times, so I never stay anywhere more than a week. The muggles who own this place are in the Canary Islands. Well, I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Yes. Mind. was fun. Do you mind if I use the loo? No, of course. Don't think I don't know why you're here, Albus. The answer's still no. Absolutely and unequivocally no. <laughs> Look very like your father. Except the eyes, of course. You have your... My mother's eyes, yeah. Lily. Lovely Lily. She's exceedingly bright, your mother. Even more impressive when one considers she was muggle-born. One of my best friends is muggle-born. She's the best in our year. Oh, please don't think I'm prejudiced. No, no, no. Your mother was one of my absolute favourites. Look, there she is, right at the front. All mine, each and every one. Ex-students, I mean. You recognize Barnabas Cuff, editor of the Daily Prophet. <laughs> Always takes my owl should I wish to register an opinion on the news of the day. <laughs> Quinnock Jones, captain of the Hollyhead Harpies. Free tickets whenever I want them. <laughs> of course, I haven't been to a match in some time. Ah, yes. Regulus Black. <laughs> you no doubt know of his older brother, Sirius, died a few weeks ago. I taught the whole Black family. Except Sirius is a shame. He's a talented boy. I got Regulus when he came along, of course, but, but I'd have liked the set. <laughs> Horace! Do you mind if I take this? I do love knitting patterns. Uh, yes, of course, but you're not leaving, are you? Oh, I think I, I know a lost cause when I see one. Regrettable. I would have considered it a great personal triumph had you consented to return to Hogwarts. Oh, well. You're like my friend, Mr. Potter, here. One of a kind. Well, bye-bye, Horace. Bye. All right. I'll do it. But I want Professor Merrythought's old office, not the water closet I had before. And I expect a raise. These are mad times we live in. Mad! They are indeed. Sir, so exactly what was all that about? You are talented, famous, and powerful. Everything Horace values. Professor Slughorn is going to try to collect you, Harry. You would be his crowning jewel. That's why he's returning to Hogwarts. And it's crucial he should return. I fear I may have stolen a wondrous night from you, Harry. She was, truthfully, very pretty. The girl. It's all right, sir. I'll go back tomorrow, make some excuse. Oh, you'll not be returning to Little Whinging tonight, Harry. But, sir, what about Hedwig? And my trunk? Both are waiting for you. 